Hey guys, today I want to talk about explanting your breast implants. Now this is something I knew nothing about until this week, so it's totally fresh, totally new, and I hope I can relay some information I learned this week. But if you guys have additional questions that I don't touch on, please leave me a question below and I'll go find out the answer for you since I work with a group of surgeons. So, there are many reasons why you may want to remove your breast implants. Um, one of those reasons is maybe you're older and you're like, you know, I don't even want these things anymore. It could be you're having lots of complications, like um, you might be having a lot of capsular contractor, you might be having revisions and still getting it. That's frustrating. And I'm sure for you, that might be the best option just to remove them and you know, it's okay. Or maybe you've developed an autoimmune disease or you've gotten sick and you just don't wanna worry about having breast implants and you want them removed. Totally fine, everybody's different, there's no right or wrong reason to want to get your breast implants removed it's just what's best for you so take heart it's totally fine do what you need to do for you so with that said here's what i've learned so there are two options when considering getting your breast implants removed you can either keep the shell or the capsule let me okay let me back up your breast implants when you get them put in they develop a capsule around it, and that is to protect your body from the breast implant. Anytime a foreign device is implanted in your body, like a hip replacement or I think a pacemaker, anything foreign in the body, your body immediately covers it with scar tissue, which we call a capsule when it comes to a breast implant. So when you get your breast implant removed, you have the option of leaving in the capsule or removing the capsule, and all that is is scar tissue. Um, if you don't get the capsule removed, if you leave the capsule in, it's a quick in and out procedure. Um, it, it takes less time. You're not under general anesthesia and you're gonna feel a whole lot better leaving. And it's probably gonna be cheaper because you did not have to have general anesthesia. Um, or you might want to get everything removed. You know, while you're in there, just take it out. Then you'll go under general anesthesia. It's a little more expensive, but for some people, um, you just might want it all out. I would be that person. If I decided I want them removed, just take it all out. Now there's the worry that maybe you're gonna feel the scar tissue or if you get your implants taken out, your breasts are gonna be saggy and droopy like raisins. That's not the case. If you have a good surgeon, they're gonna be able to bring the skin in and up, like make everything nice and taut and you're gonna look fine. You're gonna have really small boobies, but you're gonna be fine and it's gonna look fine. So don't worry about having tiny raisin wrinkly boobies because that's that's just not the case i'm sorry i have a hair right here all right i think i got it so then the other option is drains so you might have googled like google imaged um like x planning or breast implant removal and you've seen women in recovery with um like gauze around their chest and drains so i asked one of the surgeons here because i work with a group of surgeons davis and pile plastic surgery and i was like hey is it normal to have drains and it really just depends on the person. Like, it's not, it's not really common at all to use drains for X planning. Um, while there are cases where it might be necessary, it's not the normal here. So don't, you don't have to go into it thinking you're definitely gonna get drains because that might not be the case. So what else have I learned? The capsule, I think that's it. So if you have any questions about this, I would be more than happy to answer any questions you have about it. And if I don't know the questions, I can go, um, if I don't know the answer to your question, I can go hunt down Dr. Davis or Dr. Pyle or Dr. Wood and ask them because they would be more than happy to answer your questions. So thanks for checking in. Um, I'm really glad you watched this video and please let me know if there's any way I can help you.